What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to John's World VR. I hope you guys are having a good day today or night, depending upon where and what time you're watching this video. My name is John, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to upload U11 mods onto Blade and Sorcery Nomad on the Quest 2. A few things you will need in order to complete this process are as follows. You'll need first, a phone. Second, of course, you'll need your Quest 2. The third thing that you will need for this process is a USB-C, which really is just your Quest 2 charging cord. If your computer does not have a USB-C port, you can go onto Amazon and find very cheap adapters that can solve that problem. Of course, you will need is a PC and or MacBook. I'm doing mine today on a MacBook, just so you are aware. The process is all the same. If you haven't already updated your Blade and Sorcery Nomad, version to u11 there's a video right here that can show you how to do that and then you can come right back onto this one without further ado let's get into learning how to mod blade and sorcery nomad u11 let's go okay on to step one step one is developer mode we have to set up developer mode in order to be able to mod blade and sorcery nomad so i'll be going through that with y'all real quickly so once you're on the website for developers you're going to want to go over to sign up you're gonna sign up for an account on developer and you're gonna follow all the steps that it gives you. Quick tip, make the organization name the same as your username or your gamer tag as it makes life a lot easier. Once you do that, you're gonna wanna go into your Quest app on your phone, hit on menu, then find your devices section, open that, then you're gonna wanna scroll down until you find developer mode. Once you find developer mode, click on developer mode and turn developer mode on. Now that developer mode is set up onto your computer and on your phone and it's turned on on your Quest through your phone, now you got to hop into step two, which is go on to nexusmods.com. Once you're on nexusmods.com, you're going to want to register for an account here and then follow the steps that are given on the site of how to set up an account. It is completely free to do so, so don't worry about the thought of having to pay for anything. It's completely free. Once you have that all set up, go on to Nexus Mods into the search bar and type in Blade and Sorcery. But make sure that you use the ampersand for and. Before you hit enter, make sure that the Mods tab is changed to Games, and then you can go ahead and click Enter. Since we're on the Quest 2, you're going to want to hit Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Now we're on the home page for Blade and Sorcery Nomad, and as you, as you can see here, we can scroll through a bunch of mods that we currently have out for U11, but make sure that all the mods that you do use for this how-to video, make sure that it's under U11. So for this video, we're going to go with the Spider-Man armor for U11B. And all you have to do is hit manual download, click on that. And then scroll down to, to slow download. And then just wait for it to download. And that should be it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So next, you're going to want to click on the file you want to download, open your downloads folder with the file in it. Make sure that the file is extracted before you do anything towards putting it into your mod folder. Um, luckily for me, my MacBook software extracts files to me instantly once I open them up. I'll leave it down below in the description some extractor files that you can use to open up the file itself. Now connect your Quest 2 to your computer and you should get a allow to connect to a computer question within the headset. So you want to go ahead and click allow. Open it up on your Mac that's in your finder and on your PC that's in your drive. Then you're going to want to click on data. Then scroll down till you find Warp Frog, Blade and Sorcery. Then double click on files. Find the mods folder and double click that. Then simply once the mod folder is open, simply drag the mod from your downloads and into the mod folder. Once that's done, just close out the mod folder, close out the Quest 2, close everything out, and then shut down and restart your Quest 2. Now, on to step 3, the step that we've all been waiting for. We can get into the Quest 2 and start playing with the mod. Without further ado, Let's get into it. Okay, if you follow along to this point and you use the Spider-Man mod that I used in the video, follow me right now and I'll show you how to find it. Okay, so you're gonna wanna look into your book, right here, scroll all the way down until you find the Marvel section, in this case you're finding the Spider-Man section, and then just simply equip each piece 
of the suit. And voila, you now have a U11 mod downloaded into Flame Sorcery Nomad. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I appreciate y'all for watching. If you guys have any questions about how to download, if you have any issues with it, put them down in the comments down below and I'll try to get to them as fast as possible. And yeah, guys, that was John's World VR. I appreciate y'all coming. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.